Hello and welcome to a Windows Vista video tutorial brought to you by visualvids.co.uk. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you and learn you about the Windows Vista sidebar, as you can see to the right here. I'm going to show you how to add gadgets, customize, turn it on, and change the settings on this toolbar. So I'm just going to go ahead and close it off so I can start from scratch. Right. First of all, I'm going to show you how to turn on your sidebar. To do this, we're going to go to the start button down in the bottom left hand corner of the Windows Vista workspace. From there, you can see the search bar at the bottom. Type in sidebar. Type in sidebar, you'll instantly get two icons Windows sidebar and Windows sidebar properties. If you click on the Windows sidebar, the Windows sidebar will be launched. As you can see, I have customised mine to have five gadgets on it. A clock at the top, a weather forecast to where I live, a calendar and a picture slideshow of all my pictures, and then a CPU and RAM calculator at the bottom. As you can see, I can move these around, swap them around, close them off, and also add out other ones. To start off, I'm going to show you how to add a gadget. As you can see I've just deleted one, so I'm going to add a new one in its place. To add gadgets, if you go to the top X and you see gadgets on the Windows Vista sidebar workspace, click that, you'll be opened with a new window. They give you these very basic row of gadgets to start off with. As you can see the CPU meter is the one I've just deleted, so I think I'm going to have that. To pick a gadget, click on it, hold and drag. Drag across to the workspace place it wherever you want it, then let go. They give you a calendar, a clock, a contacts book, a CPU meter, a currency converter, feed news headlines, a notes pad, a picture puzzle, slideshow of your pictures, a stocks diagram, and a weather forecast. But, you can get thousands more gadgets offline. So, to do this, be connected to the internet, and click the link at the bottom which says get more gadgets online. Once you click that link, you'll be opened up in Windows Internet Explorer and be taken to the Vista sidebar gadgets page where you can download gadgets, learn how to make your own gadgets and share them with everyone else. So, enjoy looking around that. I'll just close that down. Well, I'm happy with my sidebar, so I'm going to close this down. Right, you can customise gadgets differently. For example, I've got a weather forecast there. If you highlight over the gadget, you'll see some icons on the right hand side. There I have an X and a spanner. The X is to close the gadget and the spanner is to customise it. If I click the spanner on the weather forecast, I can for example type a location. So, on Great Worley. Great Worley in the West Midlands. I click that, then searches for it. It's found it, Great Worley. Okay, you can set your current position. As you can see, for that one, if I highlight over it, it hasn't got a spanner icon, which means I can't customise it. The slideshow one, which is one of my favourites, if I highlight over the spanner on this one, you can pick which folders I'm using, how many seconds the picture is going to show for what I'm a transition. I've had it to show all the pictures in my pictures. Right, you can also do some extra things with the gadget sidebar to the properties of it. To do this, I'm going to go to the start and go into control panel. When you get control panel come up, you want to make sure you're on classic view, which is the bottom one. Once you're on classic view, scroll down to near the bottom, you'll get an icon which says Windows sidebar properties. Click on that to open it up. You can then get a very small screen just with a few options. The top option, which I have ticked, is start sidebar when Windows starts. So basically, when you log on, Windows sidebar is launched. I've ticked that as I don't really want to be double clicking every time I want it up. You can also have the arrangement so sidebar is always on top of other windows. For example, you click that, you open up Internet Explorer, you'll still have um, the sidebar up. I don't personally like that feature as it gets in my way and you don't have as big a viewing screen. You can also pick which side the sidebar is displayed on the screen. It's automatically set to right as that's the English set out of the desktop but if you like to have your icons on the right hand side you can always have that on the left. You can also set the display sidebar monitor icon, I've got mine set to 1 
and then you can also set the view list of running gadgets which I've just showed you how to do. So that is the basic gist of Windows Sidebar. I hope you enjoy it, I think it's a brilliant feature in Windows Vista. If you need any questions on that, feel free to either live chat or email me. That's great, thank you for your help and I hope you enjoy this. Goodbye.